today's video is brought to you by the letter S. Well, everybody, please like, share, comment below. Let me know how you are enjoying your day. Let me know how you like the video. Also, please consider joining membership. You get early access to videos as soon as I upload them. And also, also you might get some shout outs depending on your membership. And potentially, you'll collaborate with me and recommend videos, how, I, how to create content. That's super duper fans. Highest, highest level of membership right there. Almost sponsorship level. Excuse me. We just got done playing. All right, everyone. Oh, I got finished. I had my fill of uh, swimming pool today. I had my fill of swimming pool today. Uh, I'm still a little wet. I'm still a little wet. Oh, feels good though. Feels good, so I'm just gonna drive off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry off by uh, simply just riding around. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go through the sports park. I'm gonna go through the sports park and go through the back. I got my Power Beats Pro on. I've been listening to music and watching YouTube out the pool. I think I got every yeah I got everything. So I'm gonna go through the sports park, but I'm not gonna go to the sports park. I'm gonna take the back trail. Oh got a thing coming up. Hopefully this car will speed up a little bit. how it is sometimes, you know. turning right. Oh, look at that nice gazebo. Finally got that gazebo done. Looks good. chicks dig you. They want to check you out. There's the, uh, oh, it's interesting. I see the wind blowing. It's changing shape. That little art exhibit work. I see the blades shifting and moving around. I saw an alligator over here. I saw an alligator over here. Big one too. 
really big. So I'm just riding around to kind of dry off a little bit, let the water evaporate. Feels good. I got the Flexi Freeze vest. It's helping to absorb some of the heat, but now I'm, I'm really relying on evaporation from my wet, breathable clothing. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, now the sun's hitting on me. Anyways, it was a good day. I liked it. Chasing after an uh, open swimming pool. Even when I got there, the swimming pool wasn't really open. It's, there's like, they have two sections of, they have two pools. They have one that's kind of like recreational, has a slide, the kid stuff, the splash, the buckets, the playground, the water playground. Well, it seems like some kid probably crapped in it, so they had to close that one down. And then they have another section in the same area. They have the diving board and the Olympic swimming pool where you could do laps. That was still open, so just took a quick dip. Took a quick dip in there. I'm not going to go to Sports Park because I think the uh, river is over flooded and there may be some flooding out in the. Uh, I see some kids in, in shorts. Looks like they took a swim. Wow, out here. Uh, let's see if. Oh, this. this I don't know if it's open. I think it's open. Wow, look at look at the uh, look at the levee now. It's gotten a lot of water. I think it was higher than this. It was higher than this. I could see the water line. It was up there. Uh, it might have been actually even uh, flooded this uh, sidewalk. That's possible. Uh, that's what the kids are doing. They're playing around in here, which I don't know if I would play around. I don't know if I would play around in here. I can see, I can tell by the, uh, by the dirt, you can see the, you can see the, uh, dried up grass, so the water did cover here a little bit. I'm just gonna take the trail. All right, ooh, it's hot. I feel, I feel like a heat wave out here. It's a little soft, but I think the tires can handle it. So anyway, so back to the pool. Yeah, I think some kid took a dump in the, in the pool area. So the Olympic pool, the Olympic size swimming pool was the only thing that was open, but at least they're open. I got to sit down. They also have like open showers. That's, that's the only way I can explain them. Basically, they're just areas where you can rinse off they're kind of like a outdoor shower kind of area. You have to push a button and it sprays water on you. So after I dipped into the pool, I went and took a quick cold, cold shower. I had to push on the button to get all the hot water out of it. But yeah, it was cold. I got someone in front of me with a riding their bike. Let's see if they're going to go in the back trail. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like they're going to there. All right, okay. A lot of rain, looks like they need to add some gravel back there. All right. Uh, trees are growing, I gotta duck down a little. Ring the bell. Yeah, trees are growing. They grow really fast. A little muddy right here. I'm gonna go around here. Ooh. This guy felt his fence around the tree. I'm gonna duck my head. Oh, it's a little, it's a little muddy out here. Jeez. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it's still, the ground is still saturated. I'm just filming here because I know this is a decomposed granite trail, so it should be okay for the most part. I'm not going to go too fast. You never know, it could be just muddy enough, like right, right there, just muddy enough to, you know, get your tires to slip right underneath from you. Man, I don't want to, I don't want to fall off the bike again. It's really muddy right here. I'm going to take the grass. Yeah, let's take the grass. Because uh, if I'm on the grass, it has some traction. I'll be able to have some traction on the grass. But if you're on mud, oh, and it's, it's wet, you, your tires, because the bike is heavy, the bike is heavy, and you could, uh, you could slip, the bike could slip right underneath from you. I've experienced it to, to some degree. I never fully crashed from it, but I don't want to. That's something I don't want to experience. So just coast right through it. Right, this looks dry enough. Just coast right through it. All right. I don't have to go fast. Just coast right through it. Anyway, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just trying to dry off. I still, when I get home, I got to water the grass. I got to kind of lightly water it every day or every other day. Because uh, I know uh, when summer officially starts, towards the end of this month, I think that's after Father's Day, uh, summer officially starts, the first day of summer. We're, we might not have any, we might not get any more rain. So, might as well, you know, keep the soil uh, somewhat moist. Because once the soil in my yard dries up, man, it just it just literally turns to like this clay. So it just turns rock hard. And then after you trying to water it after after it turns rock hard, it's it's almost uh, impossible. It's like you have to water that thing for hours and hours. Anyway, so I'm listening to some music. Let me turn it down a little bit. There we go. So I can hear. I can still hear. A lot of water right here. Yeah, looks like they need to trim. Cut the grass here a little bit. Getting really narrow here. That's how much the grass has grown. It's just making this path a little narrow. There we go. All right, just throttle a little bit. No, I'm on pedal assist five already. Just got a push going up. Oh, this line is really low. This is a cable line. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this thing? Cable line. Definitely not a power line. It's a little too low. They need to raise it, or or, or that pole kind of looks like it's sloping a little. All right. I think that the cable line's kind of new. I don't remember seeing that. All right. Here we go. Sweet home, I'm practically already dry. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Whatever evaporation I had, it's pretty much uh, <laughs> dissipating quickly. Oh, that was that was a good ride for me. I enjoyed it. I, I like that hunt, hunt for the open pool. Even when I found an open pool, it was technically closed. So, but 
But I did get cold water, and I enjoyed that cold water. Hey, nobody. Nobody, I'm gonna avoid the off-road. Just riding that granite trail, I can tell it's still, still a little too wet. It's gonna rain over the weekend, so I always say to myself, yeah, when it's sunny and warm, I'll go off-roading, hit the trails, but around this time, it's always wet, it's always raining. So, never really get to do it, and then when it's, when summer hits around, it's too hot, too hot, jeez. I just wanna hit, I just wanna hit the pool, just make a beeline to the pool, dip into it. If I have snacks, if I got drinks or whatever, go to the clubhouse, get some cold water. You know, that's how I wanna do things. Oh, Levy's high again. It was looked like it was drained. Now it's like filled up again. I don't know if that's my imagination. It looked like it was drained or lowered. Then it's now it's high again. Ugh, anyways, time for me to go back home. I think I'll rest a little bit. I'll take a little rest. I'm down three bars. down three bars now two bars so I'll go home take a rest and maybe around five to six o'clock I'll start watering the grass don't want to water it now it'll just evaporate so all right Ugh. clear time for me to go got a bunch of cars coming behind me so I gotta pedal fast hopefully no tree limb will fall and hit me I gotta keep an eye out. This is where, this right here is just where the tree limb fell. Oh, man, it's so green out here. Everything's, everything's coming out. So that means it's getting hot. Bugs are coming out. Man, I had these little, little tiny gnats or biting flies. I'm not sure gnats are biting flies. Either way, they were they all up in my face. I had to wear the buff, thank God I had a buff on, but yeah, they're just all in my face. They wouldn't leave me alone. Jeez. There's the sheriff. Okay, got two bars. Two bars. I rode a little bit more today, and it is windy. I may not have hills, but sometimes I get, I get these headwinds. Thank goodness for the electric bike. Whew. Well, everybody, please like, share, comment below. Let me know how you are enjoying your day. Let me know how you like the video. Also, please consider joining membership. You get early access to videos as soon as I upload them. And also, also you might get some shout outs depending on your membership. And potentially you'll collaborate with me and recommend videos, how, I, how to create content. That's super duper fans. Highest, highest level of membership right there. Almost sponsorship level. Anyways, that's enough of that. Oh, man. I think today's letter, today's video is brought to you by the letter S. The letter S for summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Yes, summertime. Hopefully, you have an electric bike to ride. Or if you ordered an electric bike, you got it already. If not, Man, it's going to be a long wait time for you guys. You may, the reality is you may not get your bike until summer's over. Like, they always make the bikes available for sale. Uh, Pre-order and everything. Uh, a lot of these other companies, although Rad, Rad Power Bikes has been really good about actually having bikes in stock. 
for you to buy and get in time for your summer rides. But other companies, they don't stock anything. They, it's almost like a crowdfunding. But unfortunately, a lot of times, especially new buyers, they're not aware that it'll take almost a couple of months before you get your before you get your bike. There's so many things going on, shortages, shipping delays, uh, labor. I mean, you just you just name it. A lot of things just delay uh, delivery, and just there's a, there's always a good old incompetence, you know. Good old incompetence. That always seems to uh, linger all, all the time. Well, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. I want to go home though. Get something to eat. Some water. Relax. Water the uh, water the yard. Water the plants. Take a shower. And then have dinner and probably go to sleep and do it all over again tomorrow except i don't water the plants but i'll definitely ride the bike how and when and where not too sure but basically almost the same thing but if you had a clubhouse and a pool to go to wouldn't you use your bike to go to the pool or clubhouse all the time i would i don't want to be riding around doing delivery or in a group ride commuting to work. I wanna I wanna just have fun riding the bike on my terms the way I want to. And you know what? You should too. Alright, right turn. Right turn. Got a green light. Right turn. Alright, excellent. That was a nice turn. Man, I'm a I'm a professional at turning right. Oh, here's the headwind I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm almost home. Thanks for sticking around this long. You deserve. Congratulations. Thanks for sticking around. You guys are the best, whoever you are. Maybe some ladies out there watching as well. In any case, enjoy your bike ride, enjoy your day, have fun, and uh, enjoy the ride. Okay, that's all I gotta say, enjoy the ride. That's what it's all about. Till next time, everybody. Bye-bye.